How y'all doing today? Give it some time for people to come in. I do a Bible study. I just thank y'all too, man, for um, just taking y'all time. I try all day to just um, listen to what I got to say about Jesus, man, and I want everybody to find him. Like, my spirit been tugging at me, just tugging at me, just tugging at me. Like, conviction, conviction, conviction. Like, what's... If I gain the whole world, <laughs> if I get all the riches and all the fame that I want, if I get everything I want and don't have Jesus, man, I don't have nothing, bro. Nothing, period. And that's sad to say. But we go out here chasing this bag. We go out here chasing all this cash. Man, I ain't got Jesus. And our heart, we ain't accepted him. But we want to, um, Get all the foreign cars, all the fly cars, all the gold with the diamonds in it, all the matches on the hill, all the designer gear. We want it all, but we ain't got Jesus, though. We ain't got Jesus. We ain't got Jesus. And that's what we need in our life. We need Jesus. We honestly need Jesus. Um, this call I'm wearing right here, man, I ain't even, I ain't even, I ain't even worthy to be wearing this call. I ain't even, I ain't even worthy to be a deacon at Chief Cornerstone Church, Community Church. I ain't even worthy to be a deacon for Jesus Christ and the Father. I ain't, I ain't worried of none of it, but that's why, I, that's why I stay convicted. That's why I stay convicted. On am it be eating me up inside. It just be eating me up inside that, man, I'm chasing everything else, but I ain't living my true purpose, and my true purpose is to get the name of Jesus out there to everybody, to everybody I possibly can, to everybody I possibly can. Jesus has brought me too far to not spread his word, to not let other people know what he done done for me. He done brought me too far for me to just sit around and act like, Jesus ain't did nothing for me. Man, he kept me 10 years in prison. How you doing, friend? God bless you. Jesus kept me 10 years in prison, bro. 10 years in prison. And I'm out to live, to live to talk about it. When folks got in there, got stabbed up every single day. People in there dying every day. And I'm out here to talk about it. Jesus brought me through being in, I ain't even gonna say a shootout because I was the one being shot up. The whole car got shot up. The whole car, it was even a bullet in the back of the seat. Went through the motor on my side, but didn't hit me. And I can't tell what Jesus did for me. And what what been convicting me so much is I've been lately, I've been to three different churches. I've been to three different churches. And it seems like, I don't know, what these folk be seeing in me? Every church I went to, they said, 
man, you're going to be appreciative. And I've been, it's like, I've been running from that my whole life. I've been running from that. Even when I got ordained the deacon, it's like, man, it's like, I was running from my calling. And it got to come, it got to come a time where you step up and be like, look, bro, it's a, it's time out for being a bad influence. It's too many kids out here dying every day, especially our black men. It's too many kids out here dying every day. It's too many kids out here choosing the wrong path, game banging. Mostly because of the music we listen to. Mostly because of the rap music. Mostly because um, the big homies, the bad influences. That's what I'm saying, bro. And it's time for me personally to change all that around. It's time for me personally to do what I got to do. And I'm sorry that I'm talking and I ain't started the um the Bible study yet because I'm, I'm finna go to the scripture. But it just light on my heart. And I I just came from a I just came from my church conference today. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. A lot of you know we had some ordained apostles, man. That that was the foundation of my life. The reason that. I found Jesus. The reason they the reason I found Jesus. I always I always grew up in as a youth, you know what I'm saying, in church. But I strayed away. I mean, y'all that really know me, y'all know I strayed away, man. I was in I was in school playing football, baseball, basketball, track. I all of a sudden I'm doing drugs and robbing folks, getting all their cash. Yeah, the fair life was good. Yeah, I had five apartments, all these cars. But I'm in college playing football, doing this stupid ass shit, bro. I'm sorry for cursing, but that just it just convict me so much, bro. Like when 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 am I gonna change? When when am I gonna step up to the plate and say, okay, play time over, bro. Play time over. It's time to spread the word of God. It's time to spread Jesus Christ's name. You got this platform. You got all these people watching you. But what you do for Jesus? What do you do for Jesus? Honestly, what can you say that you do for Jesus? And I don't want and, and the time coming. I don't know if y'all know it or not, but the word we're living in, Jesus coming back real soon. And I don't want to be one of the ones he say to me, um, I never knew you. You know how bad that'll hurt me, man? That'll kill me, man. I'm waiting for a few more people to get on, and I'm finna go ahead and um, go to the scripture. But that'll kill me, man. That'll kill me. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell, man. All these people on earth, we think we here for enjoyment. We ain't here for no enjoyment. We here to learn about Jesus. We here to learn about the kingdom of heaven, because the kingdom of heaven is coming to earth, whether we know it or not. I know a lot of people don't know the Bible, but that's the read. That's what I'm saying. That's the reason I'm here for. I know I got all this knowledge. I can't keep it to myself. I got to tell somebody. I'm a nobody. Yeah, I'm a nobody, but I, I'm trying to tell somebody about Jesus Christ. Anybody, anybody that'll listen. Anybody that'll listen. Anybody, anybody, because he can say anybody. He can bring you through anything. He can bring you through anything, bro. Through anything. Man, I lost my mama at seven years old, bro. I couldn't talk all the way to like seven, eighth grade. I was a freaking mute from third grade. I was like some eighth grade stuck. Lost my mama. But Jesus brought me through. But God, but God, but God. It's always but God. I was just in a prison cell that had nothing. Now I got a house. Now I got a car, two cars. But God. But God. But God, man. 
man, that man was preaching yesterday at the conference. That man said three years ago he was making twelve dollars an hour. Get what that man is now? A million now. I think he said he got like eight trucks and he finna um buy um apartment complex. Three years ago, the man was making twelve dollars an hour, but he found Jesus. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the um structure. I'm gonna be coming out of um <clears throat> Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter eight, verse twelve. Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 12. And it says, Then he said to me, Son of man, have you seen what the elders of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the room of his idols? For they say the Lord does not see us. The Lord has forsaken the land. Did y'all hear that? I'm going to read that one more time. <clears throat> it said, Then he said to me, Son of man, have you seen what the elders of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the room of his idols. For they say the Lord does not see us. The Lord has forsaken the land. And I don't care who you are, man. Nobody ain't perfect. You can be the chief apostle, bishop, evangelist. You got some type of sin. I don't care who you are. You have some type of sin. No, not one. Everyone falls short of the glory of God. And that's what it's saying right here. The elders of the house of Israel, what they do in the dark, in their room, everyone has an idol. But nobody ain't perfect but Jesus. That's why we need Jesus, because he makes us perfect. So when God, the Father, Yahweh, looks on us, he see Jesus' blood, that sacrifice. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, man. A lot of people don't, a lot of people don't want to hear about their idol, because everybody got some weakness. Everybody got some weakness. But um, Jesus, Jesus makes us strong, and though we're weak, Jesus makes us strong. And I just want to thank y'all for um, watching y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in, and I just love y'all, man. That's my beautiful wife. And, um, she done brought me a long way too, man. From just all that um. Scrolling defense, man. That, that's over with, man. It's time for a new walk. In Jesus' name. And I'm, and I'm um close it out with a prayer. Father God, we come to you as humble as we know how, Lord God, and respectful, Father God. Please forgive us for our sins, known and unknown, Father God. Father God, um, like I was just talking about every man's idols, what they do in the dark, Father God, what I just came out of the scripture, Father God, just just help us, Father God, be pure and holy, Father God. We know nobody can be perfect, Father God, but just help us strive for pureness. Help us strive for holiness, Father God. Please don't let us use Jesus as a license to sin, Father God. Just help us be perfect, Father God, because we can strive for that, even though no man is perfect, Father God. But just help us please you. Please you, Father God. Help us bring more smiles, Father God, for you than, than, than tears from your eyes, Father God. And we just love you, and we just bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Mm -hmm.